What is up? I think I think we're live. I think I think we're live. I hope we're live. I really hope we're live. Uh, I'm gonna turn off this autofocus real quick. Oh my gosh. This is my first time streaming, everybody, if that isn't completely apparent. We are live. This is great. I think everything is working. I have people checking to tell me if it's working. Um, yeah. So the idea tonight is to review some portfolios, look at some work. I'm still trying to make sure everything is working. Um, oh, audio works. Sick. All right. Uh, we are good to go. I'm going to take one more adjustment. Sorry, everybody. All right. I think we're good enough. We're good enough, right? I think we're good enough. We'll do it live, as Bill O'Reilly would say. All right. So tonight, what we are doing is we are looking at some portfolios. We're looking at some work. Some people sent me some stuff that they're into, that they want to show me. Um, I don't know a lot of the background on these people. To be honest, I got a last minute assignment uh, just before this was supposed to happen. So I've been working all day. Um, but we're going to look at some stuff here. We're going to check some things out. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Uh, as always, this is just my opinion. If uh, you know, if you disagree, then that's great. You can disagree, but uh, that's what a critique is all about. I'm generally a pretty rough critique person, um, so maybe I'll be a little harsh. I'm, I'm going to be as harsh and nice as I can be. Uh, so, figuring out all my toys I got right now. Uh, At this I can do picture in picture so you guys can still see my beautiful face. All right. <laughs> no audio cut. I got no audio. Now you can't what oh there we go. I know what happened. Here we go. Still good. I think we're still good, right? All right. Cool. I think we're good. Cool. Yep. I think I figured it out. You guys should be able to hear me now, though. Uh, and I still hang out in the corner. Correct? Someone say yes. <laughs> We're playing with fire here, everyone. This is uh, this is this is hard. Cool. All right. We're good. So the first person we have is Jacob Musselman. Uh, according to his website here, he is a junior in tele telecommunications at Ball State University, which I have no idea where that is, but uh, hopefully we figured it out. Uh, Indiana, freelance for the Fort Wayne Gazette in the summer of 2020. He'll be an indoor intern in Kendallville New Sun with the HSPA. Um, so anyways, so we're going to check this out first. Um, let's see where we're at. Hopefully get me in the corner here. So we're going to go to the photography because that's what I care about. Um, oh, no. I feel like this. There we go. Photography, sports. Let's get these nice and big. All right, we're gonna flip through these. These are kind of blown up on my page, so like, you know, bear with me on technical issues. It's my first time live streaming, so if you're watching this after the fact, you're in for a wild ride. But we got a couple of different sports pictures here. Diving. We got football. Oh, that's nice. And then we got the coaches. Gymnastics, nice action football, basketball, more football. Football is like my thing. I'm like a big football photographer. So, uh, you know, I always love seeing football pictures. Um, but there's a lot of other great sports out there. Man, you got a lot of gymnastics, which is cool to see something different like that. Um, I'm always used to seeing like the top four ball sports in everybody's portfolio. Um, so if we go through here and let's hop to this one really quick. This one's really standing out to me is probably one of the strongest ones. Um, if I were to uh, like crop this though, let me just, let me take this into a uh, photo mechanic really quick. Let's see where we get. And I'll kind of give some thoughts on what I would do to some of these. 
Boom. Desktop, where are you? Where is this? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? No. We're lost here. All right. Never mind. We won't do that. All right. So what I would do here is I would kind of want to crop out that little light on the top there. Um, so if we see here, like this isn't doing anything for me, um, I would probably crop it into like right in here. Um, I want to see if I can find this picture so I can um, bring it into Photoshop or something, but I don't think I can. It's a new computer, so I'm really just throwing everything to the wayside today. Anyways, what I would want to do is crop in on that, that light. I would bring this in to about right where that little bar is, and I'd bring it down over here and kind of something like uh, this-ish. And that way, um, we'd have something more like this. So what we get here is a little cleaner, a little more pronounced. You focus in on that ribbon um, pretty close. Oh, man, Noah's hitting me up already. This is great. Uh, so we focus in on that ribbon a little bit quicker, and we get rid of that distracting light. We don't need to know where the light was coming from. I mean, people just kind of figure it out. So this is, this is, this is good. So, um, so that one I would crop in a little bit. Uh, this photo is kind of a not doing it for me. Personally, I, I just this isn't very clean. Um, the background is a little bit uh, kind of lame. I mean, this whole bottom is pretty messy. I don't need to see the diving board to know that this is a diving photo. Um, this football picture is pretty clean. Um, it's cropped in pretty heavily. Um, I, I love stuff with like the players in the foreground for the defense. Um, it's nice and tight. A lot of people don't shoot very tight. So I'm, I'm into this. This is cool. Um, this one is 100% your strongest photo. Like that should be your leader. This photo is kind of a nothing too. Again, I would probably crop in um, kind of in here-ish range. Um, and again, that's going to give us a little bit. We're going to just get there a little faster. That's basically all we're trying to do here. So, you know, we don't need the top. I mean, we have like the Mac tournament and stuff up there, but I don't think we really need that stuff. Uh, and I think like that, just we get there a little bit quicker. We understand what's going on um, a little bit quicker. And, and we get to the heart of the image, which is the coach. And it's not a bad photo. It's a daily coverage photo. I don't know if it's a portfolio photo, which that doesn't mean it's a bad photo. But, um, you know, that's just kind of a, a, a different goal there um, for a daily photo versus a portfolio photo. Um, this is a pretty nice standard clean football picture. You're going to need to get these like every game I shoot, you got to get the, you know, you got to get the quarterback dropping back. That's just like a photo you're going to have to get. And this is a good example of that. Um, I feel like when people run these, they definitely want to see a little more space sometimes. But I like the tight ones. I like it like this. Uh, it's kind of a weird crop. There's nothing wrong with a weird crop per se, but I feel like having a uh, kind of standard crop is gonna it, it just a little easier to run i mean we kind of have these standard spaces that we work in and having a more standardized crop sometimes helps you out um so let's get out of this check back um this is kind of an almost to you're standing up and so what that does is you're kind of like an even level with his eyes and generally in sports people are looking People are looking down, right? If you're drilling a basketball, you're looking down. If you're carrying a football, you're generally kind of looking at the goal line. You're looking ahead of you. You're never really looking up. So by standing and shooting, um, by standing up and shooting a sport in general, but football especially, you're you're going to be at the same level as their eyes. So you're looking through the crown of their helmet. Rather, if you were up here, you'd be looking straight into the eyes. You know. So I, I would just get down lower. Uh, there's lots of angles to take in an end zone. Personally, I like to be a little bit closer to the corner. And what that's going to do is get you a little more straight on and clean up that background. So like right now, if we go back to this photo, um, you know, that background's real messy and it's not really adding more to the story. you know, we kind of know that there's the sideline people, uh, there's the referees, uh, and we got the ball carry and all that stuff. But like, you know, we, we could have a much cleaner background if we rotate it around to kind of in front of the player a little more, um, but not a bad frame. 
again, daily coverage, fine. Just in the future, I would get down a little bit lower. Um, this one's nice. Uh, you got to watch this hand on the right side. Uh, this being cropped is kind of a kind of a no-no. You definitely want to keep those kind of things in there. But I know, like you know, again, emotion, good emotion will carry a lot in photograph, um, a lot more than like a perfect crop and no emotion. So, like again, I would I would prefer you to have emotion like this and a little bit wonky crop than have a perfect crop and no good emotion. Uh... The solid diving photo again you know from where you're setting up you got to pick a better background that pipe is pretty distracting the stairs are pretty distracting but again it's good action you got the boards in there um again you got the feet cropped out um would we find in the gallery i would actually you know you can make it a little better by cropping out that tube and stuff and then you end up with something kind of more like that um and that's 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 gonna be a little bit cleaner you know you don't have that distracting pipe and you know you get the eyes and everything like that. Uh, so it's just gonna be a little bit nicer frame. Um, this one I don't really know what's going on. I, I like it because there's like kind of peak action here, um, but it feels like cropped too tight. Like I feel like I could have a little bit of breathing room on this one and it feels like it got cropped in. Um, I will say the toning on this is a little bit weird. It's a little bit on the edge of where I would say is probably ethically acceptable. It looks a little like you had shadows came up, highlights came down. And it's not like that thing's wrong, but there's like no blacks in this photo. It, it feels it feels toned, if that makes any sense. Um, let's run back through. This is a good tackling photo. I might, I'm, I, I could see you cropping a little bit, but I mean, that's just like solid football action. That's a good picture. I like that. Um, this one feels a little weird. I like that it's cleaner. I like that it's a cleaner background, um, but like it's it's pretty dark and it's just, I don't know. I think maybe this is a half second early or late maybe because it kind of feels like the her face is in shadow and maybe there's like right when her fingertips are on the edge of the, of the board, maybe that would be a little bit better. Um, but, you know, who knows? I'm, I mean, you're splitting hairs at that point, but... Um, I mean, again, I know I've hit on this like two or three times now. Uh, this is this is your best photo, so uh, lead with that. Like, lead with that a lot better. Um, this is okay-ish basketball. It's just it's just kind of a little messy. It's there's nothing really wrong with it, but it's um it's just kind of on the edge. Uh, this again is a little bit too tight. And again, if you were down lower, um, it would be better, and you'd have more of that ball. And, you know, you'd have a cleaner background again. Like, getting lower is just going to fix so many things in sports photography. Um, but, yeah, definitely get a little bit lower. Shoot up into those eyes a little bit. Um, it's going to be a little bit stronger photo there. Uh, so, do we have another portfolio there? Okay, we got some a little bit of news here, too, maybe. And we got captions. That's rad. I like when people have captions on their website. I think a lot of like uh, internships and stuff you go through, I feel like they want to see how you're writing captions. Captions are super important, um, especially if you're working in a newspaper, any kind of news service. They want to make sure that you know how to write a caption um, because that's going to be super, super helpful. I mean, you have to be able to write a caption to file stuff. Noah, I see you. I am stoked to see it. I got a few people in the queue, so you're getting in. Um, but captions are super important. Like you have to be able to write a good caption, even the most basic, uh, newspaper internship, anything like you're going to have to write a good caption for a photo. So let's look at these. So we got a great little detail here of someone getting their makeup put on. Uh, so our caption is Jody Morgan, the manager of Indie Screen Parks makeup trailer works on, pa uh, painting lips onto a midway actor's face for their costume, um, two hours each day. So that's a good little basic little caption, I would 100% want to see that person on the right's uh, name, though. Let's get me back back up. So we got this person on the right, and I mean, this person is the crux of the, the, the photograph. We definitely need to have their name in there. Um, this cool little portrait, kind of like a, um, what do you call them? Little, like, illustrative portrait. Um, this one, again, you started off so good with those captions, now you don't have them, so we want that caption. No, I'm sure it's a color run or maybe a sorority thing or something like that. Um, but we definitely want to have that caption in there. Uh, 
this doesn't really fit. I know it's kind of like, you know, you got the hand shadow on there. You're probably going for like some kind of um, illustration or something like that. And that's cool. Um, but I don't know if I'd put it in a photojournalism portfolio per se. Uh, this is a, a good little performance picture for maybe something on stage. There's not a lot of emotion in this though. I think I'd want to see a little more emotion with what's going on. And, uh, you know, maybe there's a, a stronger moment um, beautiful light though, uh, good tone. Um, I don't know how these are coming up on y'all screen versus my screen, but like this looks really nice. And I, I think I, my only thing to say would be that, um, you know, I want a little context with those captions and I would definitely maybe look for a bit, a little bit better moment or a stronger moment there. Um, <laughs> cute dog again, don't know if this really, uh, fits into a, um, uh, what do you call it? A photojournalism portfolio. Hold on, I hide my doc here for you guys, so you don't have to maybe see this. Now, forget it. Um, this is a good moment. Again, we got no caption though, so I don't know what the context is. So need to have that context. But good little moment. I like this. Um, whatever's going on here, if it's a portrait, if it's something else, it's a pretty clean frame. I like the framing. It's a nice squared up portrait. Um, but I would like to know more context of this since they aren't wearing baseball uniform. Um, maybe they're a worker, maybe they're a player that got let go. I don't know what, um, but just need that context from those captions. Cute little moment from a fair. Um, maybe, maybe try to make it a little more illustrative and you come around and you shoot through one of those holes maybe. So you got like that, you know, you got that hand like way up here in front and then you got the hole and you're hiding the face right through there trying to like see what it looks like to you guys um but yeah so that's a it's a decent one but maybe spin around and get the other side so you just got that hand real big and you got the face you know just the face and the hand kind of like whenever you get these like shoulder situations going on you're like kind of going over someone's shoulder sometimes it, it isn't super helpful or super great um but so maybe just make it a little more illustrative here uh but again nice little moment again standard paper stuff we'd see uh coronavirus statue uh I, i'm not a big fan of the super wide angle lenses um so i like to kind of keep them a little cleaner a little maybe a 50 or an 85 make it a little more kind of artsy um but you know a good little feature hunt find uh again a good basketball photo i would put this in the sports category um and i would actually argue this doesn't really have a moment so i mean you know it's a good clean frame of a player i I'd, I'd definitely file this because it would run, it would run in publications and stuff. Because they, whenever they do an article about that person, um, they're gonna they're gonna want to see a picture like this. Um, but I, I would say there's not a lot of moment there. You know, maybe get when they're excited, they're screaming, whatever. Um, but a little bit, a little bit lack of moment. But nice, clean, technically good frame, like a nice clean frame that I would totally file if I was covering this game. Um, again, a nice little performance thing. It's a little bit dark. And I know that's like it's the nature of like poor stage lighting. I love that light coming in from the background. Um, on this one, I would probably just kind of maybe crop in a little bit, sort of in nearish range. I think you just get to it a little bit quicker. Um, I know I said earlier, like try to keep to a standard crop, but I think four by five kind of falls into that category. Um, so anyway, so we it's a little just a cleaner crop of it. Um, I like this though. This is a this is this is better than a lot of the other stuff um, you've been showing in this portfolio. Um, this is a good one, but it kind of feels like a gotcha or like a thing. It, but you know, it's okay. It is what it is. It's a, it looks like a sorority party or sorority event. Um, nice clean detail. Um, again, I don't know if it'd be in a portfolio. I think a lot of people like to file something like this because it says NFL. And when you have something that says NFL, like as a student, maybe people think like, ah, man, he covers the NFL. Um, but like, I don't know if people care that much um, with this stuff. So um, I might just keep keep something like this out personally, um, just because it doesn't say a lot. Again, this photo would run. I mean, I would file it if I was covering it. Um, you know, it's a great stock picture, but it's not really um, it's not really doing much in a portfolio standpoint. That's a good little detail of a little uh, champion parade for the Washington Nats. Um, that's a good one. That's that's. I don't really have too much to say about that. I mean, I want. I always want more emotion, but you know, cute kid got the flag. You're not paying too much attention to these other people. Um, so you know, 
looks looks pretty good. Cat doesn't belong in the portfolio, but it's a cute cat. And that rounds it out. Um, I'm not going to look at your writing. Uh, it's cool you got your resume on here, though. That's always super great. Um, but yeah, I would, I would, from another standpoint, I would dump like the welcome page thing. I don't think anybody really wants to see that. Uh, generally, if you're looking at a website, I'll show you mine, uh, just because it's kind of following how most people like do things. Um, but I just kind of have, you know, just get straight to the work, like let people, let people see the work when you get there and, you know, then you can, you know, they can go over to the about or whatever, and, you know, then they can do whatever they want to do. But, uh, just get them straight to the work right away. So let's uh, hop on over here. Oh, there's my screenshots. Now they're showing up. Now, now they're doing everything. Let's see if we can pull up the next person. Oh, man. where Where's the website? All right. Gage here at time. Am I spelling this right? I am. Should have had them all open, but can't even get audio to work. So how am I going to? I'm going to manage this other stuff, you know? All right. So we got Gage. Um, this is a nice way to land on a web page. Uh, so we got, you know, a nice little scroll through here. We're getting to see what's going on. Um, you know, so let's hop into it. Uh, first, let's go to the about, see what's going on here. So Gage is based in Minnesota. He now works for KEYC News Now. I assume that's a tv channel but we'll see I mean, i'm curious let's see what is this k-u-y-c looks yep tv channel that's cool um so minnesota state university south center minnesota blah 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 uh we can follow him at gauge her keratin photo which oh, i feel bad i didn't even look if we can figure out jacobs really quick do you got your you got your instagram here here we go. Uh, J.H. Musselman. That's how we're going to find Jacob if you want to follow him. Nice enough to share his work. Oh, man, you got other stuff in here. Put this stuff in there, man. Oh, you got to, yeah. Anyways, so follow him over there. All right, so let's go history. Where were we? Gage. There we go. Cool. So um, we got I like this. We got everything's nicely divided. This is important. You have to be able to find people like where I'm going on the website pretty quickly. Um, so this is this is good. So let's start with some singles, news, news life things. Can we go? Okay, cool. All right. Um, so this is pretty nice, clean uh, little layout. I think this looks pretty good. Um, man, this Budok is killing me. I got. I'm. A, there we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. All right. Uh, so we got Gage, military squadron, reserve calls, blah, blah, blah. U.S. Marine in Canada. All right. Um, it's a nice, clean frame. I'm into that. It's a good way to start. It's a nice emotion here. Uh, also great. St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, I understand in situations like this, it's pretty hard to get names. Names are awesome, but like I'm with you on this one. I, I wouldn't hang up too much on it i like that we get the plane in the background it's kind of out of focus um it's nice you know you could argue you could make it wider you could argue you could make it tighter all good and also if you folks are watching right now and you're one of these people there's only four people watching so we'll see but if you are feel free to chime in and say hi in the chat um and even if you're not one of those people there's three of you that haven't said hi only noah said hi so well say hi uh okay high school senior oh, uh pickle eating contest all right uh, I like that agony of defeat on the left and the joy of uh, finishing. Uh, you could almost crop out that uh, lady on the left, um, but both awesome, <laughs> uh, real wild. I like that background, nice, clean. This uh, this orange line, this purple line is really clean. I like it says home. That's that's a nice little clean frame. <laughs> Horse sneaking on the cow. These are having fun. Um, I can see cropping this in maybe a little bit tighter. Uh, so we get to that face a little faster, maybe make it a little bigger. Um, but no, that's, that's fun. That looks good. That's that's a moment right there. I mean, come on now. Uh, we got the fire blasting out of this cannon. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I I love super tight frames, so I'm not going to complain. But I could see backing up a little bit, so we maybe get maybe get that uh, the 
you know, the thing for lighting it on top in the frame as well. Uh, you know, both good. I, I like this though. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, this is nice. It reminds me of the Shepherd Fairy painting. Uh, so yeah, again, good captions. Takes part in the Greater Than Fear Rally 2018. Uh, yeah, you know, so yeah, good, good, good caption, solid caption. You got great info going on. Uh, again, you know, it's nice. They're displayed. Oh, I can even hide them, put them back up. Cool. Um, another one, you know, that's a nice clean news frame. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, I sometimes I like this that it's so tight, but I mean, like, I feel like you could either, either push in even tighter and like maybe go right into those glasses and just have like, you know, just like, you know, one of these kind of things and get real weird with it. And then we just see it reflected in the glasses. Um, or you could also, you know, back up a little more and maybe see the shoulders and stuff of the class. That's also would be cool. Both awesome. This one feels a little weak compared to your other ones, um, but good. You know, it's, uh, yeah, co controlled fire, controlled burn. Um, Still clean. It just feels a little weak compared to some of the first ones. This is uh, sheep riding. That's cool. Um, again, feels a little less purpose in your framing compared to some of the other ones. Uh, that's real. That's a nice little detail. Uh, I assume Veterans Day or Memorial. Da, da, da. Um, so it's a dedication ceremony, killed in Vietnam. Um, cool. Yeah, no, that's nice. And uh, um, her son. Yeah, that's that's a nice nice frame. I like the reflection. I like that you're not trying to fit everything into the frame. You're not trying to like show me the whole scene. That's super cool. That's cool. Um, it's pretty graphic, um, but I like that you kind of tell it's a military vehicle um, since it is the U.S. Marine Corps. Um, but I like that you can kind of tell what it is. I, I love like, you know, that's that's a fun way of seeing something like that. Um, framing could be a little bit cleaner. Maybe come up from the bottom a little bit. You know. Um, something like that. But again, you know, we're picking hairs at that point. That's that's a nice clean frame. Um, oh, it's confusing. I got it. Tractor trailer flipped over. Um, removing fresh produce. It's kind of cool. It's, you know, kind of confusing, which I like. I'm into that. Uh, I feel like maybe there's a little bit of wasted space on the right side, but I don't know how else you could crop this without getting real weird. And again, I'm not as into that. So uh, this is kind of fun. Maybe it looks like it's a journalist back there, but maybe not. Um, I think this one again, like like the the like glass blowing fire thing, you could kind of go tighter um, and maybe maybe just like make it the colors and the face. Um, maybe get under there and shoot it with a wide angle. Um, this feels a little quick. Um, again, it's like fine for a daily, but maybe not the strongest portfolio photo. If that makes sense, that's super clean. That's great. I love American flag photos. I love military photos. Um, that's a cool little frame. Um, you can always try to make these even cleaner, but that's pretty cool. Um, nice detail. I think I'd want that flipped around. Uh, I, I know he's like fixing his collar, right? Is there, um, yeah, cloud of sand approaches, straight straps on a face mask. I mean, I think I want to see the other side of him on this, um, which I know might not have happened. And again, like filing that day, cool portfolio, eh. but like it's super clean, uh, nice graphic. Um, again, it could almost even be wider in this clean, and then I'd maybe get some of the, the curve and the shape of that cloud in there. This is probably shot with like a 300 or so, um, but you know. Again, like it. I just feel like maybe I think I want to see that face, see that mask going on. I feel like all I've been shooting the last couple of weeks is masks going on. Um, this is fun. This is great. Uh, I, I've shot a whole story on Santa Clauses, so I love when we have Santa Clauses. Um, and, you know, those are always a lot of fun. Sure. Um, fun little moment. Um, it's a fun little feature. I don't know if it's strong enough for a portfolio. You know, when you're shooting kids, you kind of want to get down to their level and be looking like up in their eyes. That's my opinion, at least. Um, so you can, oh man, this is weird. It's the wrong picture in picture. I can, I can double myself. Um, but anyways, uh, I think you want to like get up and shoot into their eyes a little bit more and show 
kind of show more from their perspective, get underneath like, you know, dog's eye view or something like that is what I'd call it. Um, some good details and boots. Um, again, not, not really portfolio picture. This is a better detail for a portfolio, but again, that background's kind of not ideal. It doesn't add more to the story. It's just, you know, um, trees. Uh, this is kind of a fun little, uh, okay. This is like a, this is like a, on purpose testing it looks like kind of funny you know seeing the, the people taking pictures of it um kind of an almost for me maybe maybe shifting to the right and getting rid of those people on the left that look like they're supposed to be there um this is fun i think i think this could be a little bit even tighter um so you can, that's pretty neat um that's that's a good frame though i i feel like you could you could uh kind of come in here and maybe do this is a rough crop, but like something in this ish range. And then what that does, you'd want to get rid of even this over here. Um, something like this, if you pivoted a bit to the left, so you kind of got these reflected kids with this nice lady's face. Um, this is good though. I like the moment. Um, I like, uh, no, don't say, yeah. Um, so I like the moment. I like what you got going on there. Um, looks, looks, Looks pretty good. Um, and that's it. We're out of singles. Um, we have to fly to get through some more people. All right, sports. I like already you got some blurry things. I got a big complaint about blurry pictures um, where it's just blur for the sake of blur. Uh, if you're gonna do blur, you gotta have something sharp. You gotta have something looking good uh, because otherwise it's just, it's just blur, and you know you, you can't have uh, you can't have pure blur. We gotta have blur, but we gotta have we gotta have some other stuff too. So uh, we want to have something in here sharp, and this is uh, is not sharp enough. Um, so man, can I make this like real big? Oh, kind of works. Oh no, what? I messed it up. Um, there we go. Um, I think. This is kind of the wrong direction. Uh, you know, you always want to have face and ball, so to speak, in a sports photo. So um, it works. But, uh, you know, I think maybe I think maybe without the face, I like how clean the background is. Um, but it feels, feels, uh, feels like we need to pivot it the other way or, you know, we need some emotion. Um, same with this one. I, I like that it's so detailed. If you're going to do something like, this this level of detail you definitely want to like just get like the hand in the cloud like that would be sick if it was just like the hand and the cloud and like that's all you see um that would be awesome but right now you kind of have like the cloud over here and hand over there and you got the shoulders and it's like you want to have it look like he's kind of spiking that cloud that would be pretty rad um, this is cool. The, the picture though is, uh, right here. I mean, the picture is right here with this handoff from the drink to the bench. Like all of this is literally nothing. Uh, I don't know what this person's doing. It's, it wants to be something, but it's not really anything there, but like this, this is like a cool little moment here of the, the, the water and just wait for something to happen in here, you know, wait for someone to take a three, um, wait for something a little bit more to happen. Uh, that's a clean little baseball picture. That's pretty cool. Um, I know it's level on that way, but it feels like he's shooting down the hill. Uh, but that's kind of fun, clean little thing. If he was hitting the ball, that'd be totally rad. <laughs> and that's hard to do. So, you know, you always want to, you want to try and get those like crazy pictures as the ones that go into your portfolio. Uh, that's a nice clean frame. Totally. As always kind of wish they were facing the other way. Um, and you, you want to try to make it even square. So like this, you know, you're a little, you're a little Dutch to the right or left right here. And you, you want to make that even square if you can. Um, but I like the isolation. I like all that. I can even see getting rid of this Maverick um, or just having the text, which isn't probably going to be possible. Um, so, you know, either one there. Uh, that's an almost, I, I like love weird boxing shots like this. This one feels like it's a little bit too obscured. Um, and, and everything's kind of a little far apart. Like we have the glove down here and then we have the face up there. And I feel like, you know, maybe we, maybe we need to get those elements a little bit closer. 
Um, that's a clean little supercross shot. I like that. Um, I don't have too many complaints. The sky kind of sucks because it's gray, but that's okay. Um, it'd be cool to have some some battle, um, but that's a nice clean sports picture. Uh, that's just after the impact, but it's pretty good. Pretty good little boxing hit. Um, the refs always make things look not as good, I feel like. But maybe that's just me hating referees and pictures always. Um, it's all right, bat, all right, swimming picture. Um, it's a little back focus. And again, like for a daily file, wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but when it comes to like your portfolio, you want everything to be totally perfect. So, um, I would just be mindful of that and you want to make it even extra, extra perfect, so to speak. That's a clean little golf shot. Um, I could see you coming in even, even closer. So, um, probably something like and not even like that let's try that again um somewhere like that um so we get rid of those clubs we get you know i mean like i, I know he's golfing i don't need more grass and the clubs kind of look like it was a practice round maybe which maybe it was but um you know you hide that a little bit better um it's a clean diving shot but like it's a little late you kind of want that right when they hit that water you want like those fingertips on the water um, and right now you kind of have like, just everybody getting in the water and, you know, that's okay. But like, I think you kind of want um, a little more of that right when that impact happens thing going on. Uh, that's a cool looking basketball shot. I feel like you could be a little, little different seat maybe or a little bit tighter, but man, like they're floating. I like how it's super shallow depth of field. Um, basketball is hard, man. I feel like there's like no perfect spot to shoot a basketball game from and um you know so we got a little bit of we can always make it more perfect um so but yeah anyways it's good though it's good um it, you can always be cleaner you can always aim for even cleaner that's a fun uh baseball picture there's a that's a good reason to tilt the camera but like generally tilting the camera is like a huge no-no um, people generally hate it. You always hear people like editors complain about people who like just tilt the camera. Uh, so I'd be wary of it. Um, but, uh, you know, clean frame, got the ball, we got the pitcher, we got the batter. Um, I think it's an acceptable bending of the rules on this one. Um, this is decent little basketball picture. Um, yeah, I mean, it stinks that whenever you're shooting small games, no one's in the background because everybody leaves, but it's okay um nice little celebration it's, it's a little bit of an almost i feel like there's like they could be celebrating more um but they're not um like kind of in between but good little daily file um you know you want like the perfect pictures in your portfolio and this is a little bit lower than some of your other ones um this is cleanish there's not a lot of emotion here though uh again the camera's super tilted it just like it's a it's an almost i, I would probably take this out um, this is okay. I'm a big supercross and motocross fan, so I like it. Um, uh, but it's not as good as that other one. And we are out of sports. Um, went through some portraits quick. All right. You do a lot of portraits when you're working in the news. Kind of like, there we go. This is nice. Uh, this is a fun way of seeing somebody. Um, I like that. It's a good, different way of seeing things. Light by the monitors. Cool. It's a lot of fun to see it that way. Um, another clean daily coverage picture. I'm curious what the caption is on this one. Um, poses for a portrait next to his 1954 Alice Chalmers WD 45 tractor, blah, blah, blah. Tractor belonged to his father. Um, so yeah, just about the, uh, fact, you know, aging farmers, man. Uh, super, super common thing. Nice little portrait. Um, sometimes it's weird for people to be looking out of frame, um, but you know, whatever, uh, we'll, you know, it's okay. It sounds a little brutal. Uh, that light's super harsh and he's squinting super hard. Um, I can see those guitars or dulcimers or something in the background. Uh, but this is, this is a little rough. I would probably take this one out. Um, it's a nice little, maybe like a tourism or travel story picture. It's a little hammed up, but, you know, again, it looks like an old vintage shop at like a little, uh, you know, one of those old towns that you go to and visit with your family. This is a little corny. I'd probably take this out. 
Um, this is a good little moment. Uh, I wonder if this is like during actual thing. Mm. So it's, yeah, so he's, he's, uh, so yeah, so it looks like it's just like a practice thing and the dude whipped around real quick. Um, it's a good little moment. Um, it's an almost, I, I like it though. I mean, it, I think I just have him pose like this guy. Um, but you know, not bad. Um, it's kind of cool over the shoulder. I'd probably take this out again. I, I just don't have the mouth. I don't, I don't know. I, I think this is not all the way there. This is pretty cool. It feels a little out of focus though. Um, and I think I can pick up on that enough where it is distracting. It's nice. I, I really want to see this coming around straight from the front and super clean it up. Get rid of those light posts, get rid of the vehicles. Um, you can do a little bit of it with cropping, but really this needs to be like, you know, you need to come around and shoot that from the front um, to get that super clean frame. Um, this is a fun environmental portrait. Again, the camera's getting tilted and I would tilt it back to be level. I mean, we all kind of usually like things to be level. Um, and we are out of portraits. I might have to just rip through one of these stories. So I'm sorry if I pick the wrong one. Um, pick the first one. The very first one was um, to, to do. So United States Marine Corps Reserve. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to read all this. That's nice. It's a nice clean first frame. I like that one too. Got some layering. I can see what the first person's doing based on what the back person's doing. I like that. Um, I feel like this first person be a little bit lower, so that middle person kind of stands up a little bit, so their head's a little bit higher. But you know, again, minor. Um, loading things up. Water truck probably. Aircraft refueling hose. Um, it's a lot of doing here. So and like that's a nice frame of the guy working. Um, you know, they're all refueling. The helicopter shot's clean and nice. Radio shot, super clean, super nice. I like how it's all squared up. Um, nice. That helicopter takeoff photo is also nice. This is nice. Um, that's a little bit clumsy. It does have the refuel, which is important to what's going on. Um, that's a clean little frame. I like these foreground elements now that we've like kind of seen them back here, like this frame, you know, going to this frame. Um, these are all really clean frames. I like this. Um, the issue with a story like this is there's a lot of doing. It's a lot of stuff happening, um, but there's not like a lot of emotional connection, which is pretty hard. Uh, you need you need to have like more than like they did this, they did this, they did this, they did this. Um, I didn't have time to read all this. I'm apologetic. Um, but, it, you know, it's based on the other photo. Uh, it feels like maybe this is like kind of like a training exercise or, you know, whatever. Um, and that's maybe not the most ideal story when it comes to like showing in a portfolio, like a story you want to have like that emotion. Uh, maybe it's the first time so-and-so has led this kind of operation and you want to show like, hey, uh, you know, this person is stressed about this job they got to do. They're stressed about this next step. They're stressed about everything and they got to they kind of get to get everything going uh, so they can, you know, so they can prove to their command or whatever that, you know, they're going to make it. And then they show them afterwards and they have this emotional arc of like, no, nah, this sucks. And then it gets better and then it goes down again. Um, so... That is Gage. Uh, I'm gonna rip these concerts because I live in Nashville and I would feel remiss if I didn't rip through these. Um, so, boom, boom. That's a good one, Justin Timberlake, I like that. Oh, we're locked up. I think with concerts, like you just wanna be, uh, you wanna be different enough that it's, like you want to stand out. Oh my gosh, you guys aren't even seeing these. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Um, back, back, back. Uh, so I think like with concert photos, you want to be able to stand out. You want to be able to do something that other people don't see, um, which is hard because you're usually limited on where you can go and you're also limited on what you can do. So that makes everything hard. Um, but like these couple are kind of great examples of 
what everyone else sees. While this is a good example of what other people don't see. I would probably crop out this uh, security guard or whatever that is. But like I like you know the light on him versus the light on the fans, especially in the background. And if you had like a great emotion on him and you just you know oh, he would just light up. Um, trying to, there was another one that I liked. Maybe it's back the other way. Um, yeah, I think the Justin Timberlake one and this one's pretty good. I like this one too. And like this one is nice. This is like nice from the side. Um, kind of photography is hard. It's just like, it's, you're just so limited, man. It's just like, you, you got one spot to go to. You're going to shoot it from this position. And like, that's that, that's where you got to go. That's where you got to do. And like, that's, that's all you get. So it is what it is. You're going to get what you're going to get. Um, but it, you know, these are all right. I think some of them, it's just like, they're not different enough. You know, like anybody can go in the pit and shoot a decent picture of someone with a mic. Um, you know, you really want to, you want to, you want to show that you're doing and seeing something differently. Um, so this is Gage though. There's his Instagram. Check that out for a second while I pull up the next person. Oh, we got Andrew. Um, oh man, this is so hard to read. Um, will it let me copy and paste? It will. Apple geniuses all right so um here we have where is the one or the one pager andrew Dine. all right let me try to make this more viewable there we go all right should look a little better for everyone so again cool to have the captions here, um, man. So that first one's so what's happening here is this car is driving through uh, these protesters, and he got the moment that that thing that barricade was being thrown at that car. So that is that is wild. That is that is totally wild. Um, you know, when you have a moment that is as strong as something like this, a lot of things go out the window as far as like the rules and keeping up with this or that or whatever. Um, you know, you want to, that moment supersedes a lot of stuff when it comes to things like this. So in this case, you know, uh, well, yeah, we'd love to see their face. Yeah, we'd be like, love to be above the car. Yeah, we'd love to, whatever. You know, it's a little blurry. It's a little whatever. But I love all that. Great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that stuff, especially in a moment as intense and crazy as this one. So, um, yeah, uh, it's a decent little uh, water splash picture here, and that's not bad at all. Um, it's it's a little loose. It's a little dark. It's a little. It's a little. It's got a little a little wrong here and there on a couple things. So, um, yeah, this is better country. Oh man, Noah, this dude's trouble. Um, that's, this is a fun one. Man, this, this website makes it hard to see. My my resolution's like super low for like connecting to this black magic thing here. So bear with me. But I love this. I love how clean it is. I love how straight it is. Um, from an ethical standpoint, I hope you didn't use Lightroom to straighten this out. Uh, it looks it looks kind of maybe too straight. <laughs> so uh, just want to make sure you're not using something like that when you're working for. A newspaper this isn't for a newspaper so it's fine but like uh, if you were for a newspaper or something like that using those like uh, adjustment tools are, are you know kind of no-nos so but um i love this i love that you have two windows worth too that, that would run vertically like be super funny um this is a great little photo oh yeah this is great man i gotta i can zoom out more i can't even i can't even zoom out any more than i am sorry um maybe if i do one of these that makes it a little better, whatever. Um, so anyways, uh, that's cool. That's cool vertical. That's that's fun. Nice use of silhouette. We've got the manager's face there. Um, that's a really fun one. Um, another great one. Um, this nice, tense moment. Clean, good light, uh, good color. Um, yeah, the purple hair adds to it. 
Um, that's a good one. I might want to see a little more of this hand on the bottom, but that's a real minor complaint. I don't know if I'd care that much. Um, multi exposures are coming. I'm not really that into, um, uh, but this is a good one. You know, again, totally portfolio worthy. Uh, and you, I don't shoot baseball, so I mean, it's kind of boring. Um, <laughs> where's my Squarespace brand deal? No, if you know anyone at Squarespace, you can give me money to do anything or any company, I'll happily take it, man. But like, I can't even afford a haircut right now, so we'll we'll get to that later. Um, another great one. Uh, this is this is off the um, uh, yeah, the Tree of Life shooting. Um, good moment. Um, I, I could see cropping this a little tighter and like if you were a little bit lower then get rid of this lady on the left not not there's any problem with what's going on there but like um she's a little bit uh like she's she's just a little bit different emotion the emotions don't match sometimes that's a little bit confusing um great little silhouette shot high school practice i'm sure um oh before a game um good again really glad i'm seeing captions on people's stuff um, this is always good to know what's going on. <laughs> Hellgate. No, Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Uh, that's, that's a fun concert photo, man. That's awesome. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania and that looks like some Pennsylvania stuff because I'm on live stream. Uh, this is a good baseball picture. That's nice. Uh, nice and clean action. Peak action right when that hand's touching the bag. Uh, looks like they're safe to me. Um, no, that's good. That's cool. Oh, this is a good one too, man. That's that's a that's a real nice frame. Um, I love that moment. I love all of that. Um, discuss the stories of stained glass. So the stained glass adds to the story. That is rad. That's awesome. I love when you have the background and everything adding to what's going on in the foreground, helping tell that story. Uh, that is totally rad. That's that's awesome. Love the colors. Love the light light you could even try underexposing this a little bit more maybe we get a little more of those colors being vibrant um things like that but that's awesome um that's cool that's a good autograph picture that's kind of cool it's a little wonky but it's in a fun way um the date up here feels a little weird um and this girl kind of in the middle kind of looking at you kind of eh, eh, is it uh, i don't know what the word would be but um nice different way of getting that that shot those are always fun um, to get things like that. Great high school photo, right? High school, I assume. Yep. Um, playoff game. Freedom. Yeah. Uh, great little high school warm-up photo. That's fun. I could see coming around so the faces in the foreground a little bigger, but I mean, you know, that's sub pretty subjective at that point. Uh, it's a good protest photo. Um, I kind of in ways, we'd want to see this kind of backed up, pull back in a little bit longer lens, just so it's a little cleaner, but nothing wrong with it at all um, the way it is. And um, dude's got a face mask. Uh, it's a nice, clean photo. Goalposts suck. Goalposts always get in the way. It's very frustrating, um, but whatever, you know? So, uh, so, but it looks good. I like it. I'm into that. Um, Again, you will lower again. Watch out for those goalposts, but there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do about goalposts. Um, but that's the action and everything's there. That's what you want. Um, awesome emotion. Totally awesome emotion. I got to scroll to show this whole picture at once. Um, totally great though. That's that's a that's a great moment there. Um, Mustangs are sick. That is great. Um, yeah, that's fun. It's a fun one. Um, I think you want to be a little bit further in front of it. So you got less room behind it. So it has more room to enter the frame. Um, so, you know, something kind of like uh, more like this ish. Um, and then, you know, even this could probably be cropped uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, whatever. You guys get it. Um, so we got something like that. Um, this is the police. Oh. oh, this is again Tree of Life. I feel like you should just have a story on Tree of Life. I mean, you've got enough stuff here that maybe you could piece together a little story or a little coverage package, something like that. Um, I love all these verticals. Nobody ever has good verticals and seen a ton of good verticals in here. Uh, that is a great 
clean uh, football photo. I'm awesome. Nice clean sky. Nothing but the hands and the ball. Um, man, so many. Oh, this is Travis Square. That's a great. That's great, man. Uh, I'll never get that because I don't work for a team. But that's awesome. Um, again, I'm really sorry about how your website's shown up. Um, but that's awesome. I, I think you can probably get rid of some of this bottom. Um, but again, I don't like those super weird crops, so I'm into it. Uh, going up to the top here. We got okay. So okay, okay. We got more work. It's cool. The Hyundai picture is super clean. Oh, these are portfolio. Oh, my bad, everybody. I'm an idiot. Um, all right. These are great for newspaper stuff. I like that bat picture. You know, he's looking good. Here you want to straighten them up. You, you know, you want that that building to be nice and straight. You want them nice and vertical on those verticals. Uh, portrait's pretty good. Football team. Um, this one looks a little funny, but it's all right. I always want to, like, it's good that you're showing that you're using lights. Um, this last one's one of the better ones. Um, the motion's not there. It's always good that you're using lights. Uh, magazine clients, advertising clients, we're going to make more money. Are always going to want to see stuff that has lighting involved? Um, if you don't have lighting in your portfolio, uh, they're going to be like, this person has no idea how to use lights. So you definitely want to be able to do that. However, you always want to make sure it's like really strong stuff and has like a feel that um, people understand what they're hiring you for. Uh, this, this, this body of work feels a little all over the place. It's kind of a lot of different things. Nothing wrong with that. Um, it's all good, and it's all good to have all that stuff. Uh, but you definitely, you definitely want to have a little bit, a little more focus maybe um, when doing, when putting the other portfolio. And and this would probably fall into that category. Um, let me pick up one more here. And <clears throat> I love sports. We gotta look at sports. All right. Um, oh no, now they're small. This is like irony. All right. Um, I, I would happily take a uh, sponsorship from a website, but you definitely want your, this is to everybody. You want your website to work really easily and really well. Um, I would say you always want to make sure the best place it works is on a desktop computer. Because most editors are going to be sitting at a 15 inch laptop or a desktop. That's, if you look at my analytics over years, um, pretty much everybody's looking at your stuff on a desktop computer or a, a medium-sized laptop. Um, this site looks nice, but things like this where I'm like zooming in, zooming out, um, some editors just don't want to put up with it. Um, I think I could talk about websites for like a long, long time. Um, if everybody has questions, hit them up in the comments right now, and I will answer them. Um, that's fun. That's a fun little sequence of the nut job doing his thing, but that fan, that's a cool sequence. Um, it's nice and clean, nice emotion. We, oh no, sorry guys. I once again forgot to switch you back on. All right, so we got this photo again that we saw earlier, super clean, great. Uh, this is a fun one. Uh, Antonio Brown's got a weird career right now, but that's okay. Um, this is a great little sequence. Love seeing fan interactions that are so genuine. Uh, this has got great emotion, like it a lot. <laughs> Uh, this is, that's a good soccer picture. Nice high school soccer picture. Uh, that's awesome. That's, that's some nice little stiff arm. I, I'm assuming I'm seeing the whole frame. Um, so we're going to assume there's a little, a little bit of a crop there on the helmet. I, I'm okay with it, but I can see people wanting to see the top of that. Um, that's a good impact high school picture. Uh, those places stink with their empty fans and everything, but man, that's, a, that's good. Good peak action. Again, when you get these peak action, you get the emotion, um, you can kind of get away with some more stuff. So uh, come on, Big Ben. That's awesome. Uh, this, is, this is really rad. I'm going to post this on my story right now, not because I need to get more people watching this right now. Um, this is awesome. Uh, feel free to tell people to. Hop on. Um, awesome. That's that's super clean frame. Super nice. Uh, you know, sports frames that are super clear are rad. Um, you want faces. You want emotion. 
this is a great example of that. That's that's uh, that's a really fun one. Really nice, really nice way of seeing an intro. Um, and it's the top player for the team, uh, you know, arguably anyways. Uh, so that's, those are all big pluses. These are nice tunnel shot. Um, it's all right. The picture's falling apart, though. It's heavy crop. Um, you know, I think at some point you start shedding things out of your portfolio because <clears throat> they are, you know, they start to, like, just dip in quality. Like, if I look at this and I see this, I'm like, well, that's amazing, and this is good. Like, you know, so you got to get, you know, again, like, look at that and look at this. Like, this kind of weak compared to that. Um, great picture of Crosby. That's awesome. I love that. Um, this is good emotion. Again, it's kind of like, you know, we got that turf thing going on, so we're getting that mirage probably. Um, just doesn't really hold up as much as the other ones, but good emotion. You got the celebration, the dejection. It's nice. Um, pitcher pitching standard fare. You got to do them, but I don't know if I'd keep them in my portfolio as much. Um, nice emotion. It's a, that's a good one. It, it's like on the lower tier of what I've seen on this portfolio. Um, but good. Um, like that's better than this. Um, and that's, that's nice. That's great. Um, during warmups, so, but you know, still good. Uh, that's great hockey picture. That's cool. Um, you kind of got a lot of extra space on the top, maybe, I mean, not really. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but no, it's clean. Um, nice fan picture, fan pictures, unless they're really exceptional, I'd probably leave them off of a portfolio. You need to do them and you want to have them in there. Um, is, you know, it is what it is. Oh no, Noah's got a comment for this one. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no one knows everybody. Okay. Uh, is that who they're playing? No, it's Bethlehem. It's Bethlehem Steel. I mean, then what? Uh, I don't, you got me off my game, Noah. Uh, this is a nice soccer picture. I'm, I don't, I shoot soccer now, but now the, the season's canceled, so I don't really know anymore. Um, but uh, this is, this seems good to me. Um, this is all right. I mean, I wouldn't put this in my portfolio. This is guy with the ball clean. You, you need to file these. They're going to get, they're going to run a lot. Um, this is what we call like an ISO picture. Um, you want to file these pictures, but I don't know about in a portfolio. Like this feels more like a portfolio picture. I already talked about this one. It looks nice. Um, that's a good portfolio. You know, that's good. Peak action. Guy shedding the tackle. Wish you were around in front of him a little bit more, but I mean, it's nice, clean peak action. Uh, this is all right. The wrong side again, totally fine daily coverage stuff. But when it comes time to uh, showing a portfolio, uh, maybe it's you know maybe maybe wait for the one that does have the face in it for the portfolio. It's a good emotion. You gotta get lower. You know, I want to see those eyes or at least a bit of them. Um, or you you know you crop in uh, real tight here. You know, another good competition for the ball. Um, it's. It, it's like you you got to balance out this portfolio where you got some really super strong ones and you know this is good action but like i kind of want to be in front of them maybe but it's good it's clean background's clean it's level um it's it's good we already talked about this one it's good i'm back to the beginning what else what do we got what do we got did noah did noah send his his thing yet noah's trolling me hard but i don't even think he sent anything in He's just he's just trolling. I don't think he sent anything. Um, we go down. We find the next person here. And while I'm doing that, um, so so I will stay. Okay, one more thing. While we're on this website, and while I find the next one, email forms. You have both, so that's good. But email forms are pretty uh, brutal when it comes to um when it comes to sorry telling noah where to send his stuff email forms are always going to uh kill you you know they, they don't work sometimes and when they do work people get annoyed with them you just want a phone over email if you're freelance if you're not freelance then you don't don't feel obliged at all to put this stuff down um but um and and you want to go to the right instagram if that's not your right instagram Little things like this, um, you just need to make sure your brass tacks are kind of working here. Um, so this does work, so you're good. Um, 
so yeah so you know so this your twitter works and all that so that's where you can find andrew um but that is that is something you want to have working um when it comes to your website uh, this is kind of how it should be, like where it's like I get to things quick, I have my about, I have my contact. I personally like to have, um, I like to have contact info right on, right on the homepage right away, so people don't even have to search for it. Um, but you know, no real issue here. Where is the next portfolio? Noah, send your things, man. Send your things. All right, let me find one on my Instagram. I know some people. DM'd me things. Oh, here we go. Noah's Noah's got me. All right, we're we're cooking with gas, Noah. Mm, boom. We got Noah. Noah is at Penn State. Um, but he's from the Pacific Northwest, and he likes soccer, which is a major flaw. Um, sorry, I'm teasing. Uh, okay, so Noah, uh, like I said, is going to Penn State. Um, you can check him out on Instagram at Noah Riff Photo. Uh, he's a good dude, fun to talk to. We chatted up quite a bit. So I think this, I think this might be, I think this might be the last one. I don't know if I have any others, and I'll get to them next week or in a few days. I'll have to try this again. Um, so let's jump in on Noah here. So first things first, we got news again. Love having these uh, captions in the corner. You guys can see everything. Um, I love having these captions in the corner. Uh, and and before I say any more, if you have another one and you want me to drop it in the chat, go ahead and I'll hop on and add it after Noah's. Uh, I see some more people hopped on, so want to want to get everyone in here who wants to get in here. But I will do this again, so it's not the last chance. Um, okay, so we got some news singles. It looks like right. Did I click that right? Yep, news. Um, so uh, nice, clean rain feature. Um, for those of you that haven't worked at a newspaper yet, you're going to have to do stuff like this. This is nice and clean. I know exactly where it is. It's in Cleveland. That's where that sign is. Um, I'm kidding. It's Seattle. Uh, again, that's nice, too. When you're doing feature hunting and things like this, you definitely want to have um, nice light. You want to find some kind of moment, maybe a little bit of fun on there. You want to do something a little bit different. Um, but you know, so it's nice to have that light dragging across the field. Um, so yeah. So what do we got here. Um, so he's posing for a picture, a portrait. Um, lights all right. I like how it's bouncing up into him. I want a little bit of a splash of light over here in the right side, something to kind of bring this background in, maybe a little bit of color. As you can see in my setup, you know, it kind of instead of having that background be black, you add a little bit of color or a little bit of a little splash or something. If it is a setup portrait, it looks like it's lit to some degree. Um, but, you know, I'm okay with this. Too much and having it look bad would be worse than having this. Um, I like the feel of this. It's kind of like that Rembrandt look. I like that the light isn't overpowering the, the neck. It looks like you dodged, you burned it a little bit. It's a little going gray there. Um, but I like that light bouncing up into his face. Um, it's cool. But I, I feel like a, the environment isn't there as much in this. So, you know, it might get a little more sense of, like, the tattoo shop. I, yes, and his shop. So, um, fun little moment. Uh, zombie town. Uh, zombie prom. All right. Um, good, good. That's a good little moment. Uh, this is a little heavily cropped. We're getting a lot of grain here, but that's okay. I'm not going to hate on that ever. Um, good little lecture photos, a fun way of seeing it. Um, just different. It's, it's, uh, it's again, it's a lecture, so it's never the most exciting thing, but it's good to see a little different way of doing it. As long as you did it in the camera and you weren't like just cropping the bejesus out of like a 7200 picture. Um, this one, um, this feels like an almost, the crop's a little bit funny. It, it, it feels like it's different for the sake of being different rather than different because it's adding to the story. Um, I don't know in that body position how I'd change things, um, but maybe look for a, a moment with the flags where he's handing them out. It's just that flag or it's the flag in front of that, uh, the, the badges or the stickers, stuff like that. Um, you know, there's, there's, you know, different ways to do it. Um, it yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd have this in there. This is uh, Beto O'Rourke. 
going through the hub. Um, his face is the wrong moment. You got this swarm, and you kind of got some people on the edge that look a little disinterested. Um, but it's good to have them swarming like this. But like his face is not, it's not mad, it's not happy. It kind of looks like somebody farted. And I think like there's probably a frame really close to this one um, where he has that emotion that you want to have. Um, but cool to see it from a different angle. You know, you could do this with a wide angle right up close. That'd be cool too. Um, but I like seeing this like mass of people. It's really telling the story. I just, there's a frame just before or after this um, where he's taking a selfie or he's doing something or he has his face, different emotion. Um, the emotion's kind of a little bit uh, weak on this one. We're back to the beginning. Um, as a general thought on this portfolio, this is more of features than it is news. You don't have a lot of news in this news category. Um, like the the guy with the flags is news, Beto's news. But this is a portrait. That's kind of a feature. This is kind of a feature. The market's a feature. So you really have like three, quote, news pictures and four feature pictures. Um, nothing wrong with that. But like if I was going to come to this and look for news, I don't think I'd really find news based on what I'm seeing. Um, so you just want to like tighten that up and get a little more focus going on there. Um, if we go over to sports, I know this is one of the things Noah likes a lot. We got some nice thumbnails here. Uh, this is soccer picture, so we should just throw it out. But no, this is a good soccer picture. This is nice. Uh, there's a lot of potential energy. It's nice. I, you know, I always love to see the foot on the ball, but like, man, everything, the tension in between them, super clean frame, nice position. You're, you know, good and as low as you can get in an American stock, soccer stadium. Um, you know, nice frame. Um, like earlier, blur to be blur is kind of drives me nuts. Um, this is close enough. I like, like, I like how ethereal this is. I like that I can make out the, you know, runs for Penn State, stuff like that. Um, it's just a little, like, I want I want that sharp thing to be really, really sharp. That's how I feel about them. Um, but it's a nice, clean framing. Composition's nice. I like how it's got this this weight in the in the corner, like, where he's going. Um, I like the composition. I like a lot of it. I just, I would like to have, like, that little, um, you know, super sharp point in it. Um, but definitely not bad. This is nice. This is a warm up photo. If it's a warm up photo, it's got to be super clean to go on a portfolio. You know, get a little lower, get that elbow, get rid of the trainer in the background. Um, like those little things all add up. And again, since it's a warm up picture, like you can do that. You can get even better than where you're at on this one. Um, this is great celebration photo. The guy on the right looks a little funny. So again, maybe there's one right before, or right after this, where you get everybody fully stoked. Um, as always, I want them kind of looking at you a little more, um, but it's, it's nice and clean, nice emotion. I like that you got this hand on the left in the frame still, um, so that's great. Uh, this is this is again kind of a featurey photo. I would, you know, I like that it's in your sports category. I like this photo a lot. I know um, this is from a story on like the grounds crew or something. Um, I saw you posted the one time. Uh, really like it. Um, yeah, just great. I, I know where it is. Went to school there, sat in that section. Um, yeah, like it. Uh, this, is, this is a good emotion, good shot. You have the ball in there, um, a nice, clean volleyball picture. Um, I always wish that guy in the background wasn't there. But again, this isn't the NFL. This is college men's volleyball. There's not a lot of people going. Uh, but yeah, good emotion, good everything on that. Um, nice and tight, nice and clean. Um, that's good. The toe's a little bit clipped. Um, but you know, again, like when you have that peak action, some things get superseded. This is a little, like, it's a little, almost it's a little tilted, you know, it, it feels like you just wish you had that extra inch, which is, it's all right, but it's a good peak action. You could almost, um, kind of crop, uh, crop this a little bit different. Maybe you got more over the right, but maybe you kind of come in like, you know, something like that. And then, you know, we kind of get what's going on, but I say that and then I do it and I don't really like the way that looks. So, um, this is nice, uh, nice celebration. Um, got the emotion. You got the guy dejected on the other side. The celebration, though, like he's not as stoked as maybe he needs to be. 
Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I really hope these pictures are showing up all right on your screen. This looks a little blown out maybe on their, on your screen versus mine. Sorry if that's the case. Um, see, now this is the opposite of the other one where we have that nice, super clean face. You know, that's going to help a lot to like, we know exactly what's going on. This is a good use of motion blur. Good way of doing it. Love the ball in there. Um, with these, those bright colors in the background are real distracting. Like I, this can be super blurred and I still know that's a Gatorade bottle. Um, so you just kind of want to line these up on a cleaner background. But again, like, you know, you're in college, you're in dealing with whatever stadium, like it's part of the beast. But if you're going to pick a spot to do something like this, you know, you, you want to pick your spot even wiser than you did. But technically, uh, you know, face is sharp, blurs there, looks good. Um, nice head. Um, a little almost, maybe the ball should be hitting them. I like that it's on the hair. Uh, again, the background's a little bit um, kind of wonky with that post and everything. Uh, but yeah, pretty solid action shot. Um, Justin Shorts butts has a Pittsburgh Panthers. Uh, he's not actually butting his head though. I mean, this is just before. This is exchanging words. It also feels a little soft. Um, it feels like it's focused on this uh, bandage here and not on the eyes. Um, want it in there, understand what you're going for, um, but I can't see his emotion. I'm kind of relying on your caption to get that. Um, so I'd probably I'd probably take this one out. Um, <laughs> the emotion on these volleyball pictures. Uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's fun. Uh, background's pretty messy. You know, we got a bunch of bros or something standing around, um, but uh, yeah, nice and clean emotions super strong and again that supersedes a lot in a photo so back to that uh let's hop into these stories cool we got this thing the turf and white lines so this is about the grounds crew at penn state can i make this like more or more bigger um team meeting So I feel like maybe you focus on the picture instead of him. Um, I don't know. I can take that either way. Um, I like this because you, I assume they're in charge of all of these grounds, maybe. Maybe they're in charge of all the stadiums. And if so, that's pretty cool um, because he's supervisor of all those grounds. We're getting all of that together. Um, oh, Jacob, I'm glad you're stoked, man. Um, good start to say the least. Um, loving that you like it. Feel free to drop any questions. And I'll, I'll go back to yours if you have questions. Uh, this photo is so good. I, I love the light and stuff like that. Um, this one's good. I feel like you even a detail that sprayer maybe since we kind of got like a lot of human sized pictures and we don't have a detail yet. Um, you know, seeing that number with just that hand in there. Uh, but again, it's a nice clean frame. Um, I like the background's a little knocked out. Um, this is good too, um, but like this, I, I take it back. I like that the farming stuff's back there because Penn State's such an agricultural school. Um, so that's good. I, this one's better um, and you should be selling these to Toro <laughs> if you could. Um, I like, I like, I know what you're going for here. It's kind of like fine art, kind of like um, line painting machine thing, um, but I don't know. It's kind of an almost. Is like is this like a special piece of equipment? Is it like a really old piece of equipment? Is it something that maybe um, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way that this would be like more than just a picture of the equipment? And um, for me, it feels like it maybe it falls a little flat on that on that front. Um, and if you're gonna do something like this, you know, back up, tighten up a little bit longer lens, really make it about that piece of equipment. Um, Good moment of the guys. Wish he was a little bit to the left. Kind of feels like he's like, like this weird empty space here. Um, so you can kind of shift, scoot, whatever. You got to work with what's there. But um, I like that we can see the Penn State University. Um, I don't know what's going on in this picture. Uh, a legally parked vehicle. Yeah, this should be out. Um, this is also an out. I mean, this I get that it's what they're doing, but find something more representative of that early morning um, grind, you know? Um, I don't know what that is, but it ain't these two. Uh, 
like these two are much better. Um, the raising the flag, that's cool. I mean, I'd probably get rid of this person on the left if you can. Crop, move down, shoot up higher. But I mean, anything with that kind of light and that kind of color is going to be super rad. Um, this photo is so strong. Um, I like stuff like this, but again, it like you get to this point where like you're working on a photo story and you get stuff that's just like doing and it's just people doing things and it's the next step in the thing they're doing. Um, and while that's important, sometimes it usually makes for a really boring photo story. Uh, so that be that be my kind of fear with some of the stuff in this, you know, compared to like those the the moonrise or sunrise and stuff like that, where you have like all this like we get the emotion of being up at friggin' three thirty, four thirty in the morning. Uh, instead, we kind of got this like uh, like you know like they're putting on the rug. Um, nothing wrong with these, but I don't know if it's as strong. Um, crowd photos, good. I feel like. I don't know. Let's see where we go. Oh, that's the end. Okay, that shouldn't be your ender. <laughs> uh, that's a simple answer. That's a that's a weak ender. So I'll end on these two instead of like this one, um, or the lights turned on, or maybe that the stadium super wide with the sunrise behind it. We know like this glorious piece of concrete that is the home of college football. Um, Michigan can go stuff themselves uh you know you gotta show the glory of this field and uh everything i think you know i think that i'd be looking for you want to show the majesty you want to show the crowd inside you want to show the players ripping up the field that they so delicately went and worked on you know this is a beaver stadium's real grass it's awesome but you know i mean the you know that cleat ripping the dirt up the 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 glory of the stadium on the sunrise or or um, just just really milk that beautiful light and make something really incredible. Uh, you know, I think that's more of what you're going to uh, work on there. No, was I really muted? Never mind. Okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, so I think like that's something that you you're gonna want to see at the end of this is you know you want to show that the the beauty of that success or you want to show the agony of that defeat. You know, maybe that that cleat ripping the grass up and destroying it. And then you show that detail afterwards, you know, we look down and we see all we, you know, we, we look down on the field and we see these like cleat marks and dirt and stuff from high up with a long lens or maybe right on top of it with a little one, you know, and we see that like the Penn State logo with the cleat mark dug out of it, or I don't know, you got to run around the field when we're done with a game or something and make something really special. Um, but I think, I think the, the weak part here is definitely this second two thirds um and yeah so let's see what do you have on the block let's see if you got anything oh ppa judging got some more of that uh feature hunting see there you go you got a better crop of this right there crop it that way that's way better um this is good too nice celebration you have better sports photos in your blog than you do in your portfolio and you also you have more of them that are good see there you go there's your flag picture there's that's better um you know uh yeah so we got some stuff here um go to about there we go like you got your resume on there it's always good um and yeah you got a resume you got some awards you got recommendations you got you got stuff on here again i'd always put my email directly on there so you're not um you're not going through one of those web forms um but looks looks pretty good these are all really good starts everybody had great stuff i know there's like one or two pros in there too in addition to some students uh but yeah like this is rad let me check one more time to make sure i don't have anybody sitting in my dms that i missed we will see i got most of these people i think i got my requests i got pretty much everybody um so yeah i th think I think this does it for tonight. I think we got through a bunch of people. I think everybody's got a lot of rad stuff. I think the big thing to really think about here is that when you're editing a portfolio, you definitely want to have like less, you don't want to get to a bad one basically, you know? So if you got 20 pictures and 15 of them are bangers and the last five are like, okays, dump those okays. Like just get rid of them. You don't want them in there. You want to keep it narrowed down to just the really good stuff. 
Um, and I think like that's going to make everything stronger. You always want to leave somebody wanting more um, rather than, you know, having them, you know, be like kind of looking to find the negative. That's the biggest thing you always hear in portfolio reviews is like, you know, don't leave them wanting more, not finding something they don't think is very good. And I think that'd be true of a bunch of the people we looked at tonight. Um, another thing to note is like your website, you always want it to work super clean, super easy. You want it to just be real, real simple to look through and really, really easy to navigate, really easy to find your contact information, especially if you're freelance. If you're not freelance, you know, like whatever. But uh, me, I'm freelance. So like, you know, you can go right on there, hit the about section and find my contact info super quick. Um, but you want to have that, you know, going, going through really quickly. Um, one thing I will say is like, just don't be afraid to split up your portfolio into something like really logical and basic. Like you don't need to get all artsy with like, oh, well, you know, this is moments and action capture, like all these words, uh, just, just go straight to the point, you know, like portraits, news, uh, stories, sports, like people aren't going to get offended by that. Um, just for the sake of showing you, uh, this is my website. It's pretty out of date, but it's just super you know, super quick. Like there's a story. These are stories. Um, you know, well, if you want to look at portraits, like, you know, you hop in here and look at portraits and I'm guilty of my website not fitting on the page too. So here, here I am complaining about other people's and, you know, you do whatever. So, um, so anyways, so, you, you know, you get, you get right to it. You kind of can see whatever you're going to see. Um, and you know, it is what it is. You, you get there super quick though. You know what you're looking at. Um, you don't have to like dig around and figure out what's going on. The biggest thing is that like whenever an editor is looking to hire somebody, either as an intern, uh, from a freelance basis, whatever, they just want to get to the point quick. They just want to get there, see what's going on and decide pretty quick if they want to hire you or not. That's basically all there's to it. So the quicker they can get to photos, see what you're about and, uh, like be able to quickly understand how good you are, the, the quicker they're going to hire you or not hire you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's theory but either way like you're you're just gonna they're gonna get their answer a lot quicker and they don't have to mess around with a bunch of stuff um so unless anybody has any other questions i think that's probably a bunch of stuff uh you know again uh we had jacob um gage and noah and andrew thank you so much for sending me your stuff um I, oh i have one more i actually have one more so if you guys haven't left yet Hang on one second. I 100% have one more. It's just a couple pictures. Um, so I'm going to airdrop these over to. Hold on. Sorry about it. There we go. Go. Send, send, send. Hang on the internet here. There we go. All right. Um, they are. Come on, show up. There we are. All right. So one last bunch. So really quick, this is uh, Matt Hiscox. He's in London, Ontario. He shoots for the uh, London Knights and a few other people up there in uh, the Great White North of Canada. And... Yeah. So, um, so I think we only have like three or four. Yeah. So, um, it's nice, clean. Uh, oh, sorry guys. My bad. Forgot to put them up. So this is Matt, uh, Matt Hiscox. He's, uh, again in Ontario, Canada and, um, sweet Matt. So we got yours up, man. So hang on one second. So he's got a few pictures here. Um, but yeah, he works for the, uh, the Ontario Kingston Knights, or London Knights, London Knights, OHL team. Uh, it's like a junior league team. So it's kind of like minor leagues, the wrong term probably, but it's like young people are drafted into the systems. So they're kind of like a lot of the next pros. It's actually really good hockey. If you're into that, um, I photographed there once on a really weird story and we met. So it was a few years back. So anyways, so this is really, uh, this is good action, but we got no puck and we got that ref on the corner and those would be deal breakers for me. So um, I would take that one out. Um, I like this. I like the goalie. I like the emotion. Um, I'd almost hope to maybe find a moment where maybe the, the spotlight hits them a little bit harder so you can bring down that background a little bit. Like he's kind of in dark and then the background's a little bit brighter. And maybe you get when that, that light spins around, hits them and uh, brightens you up a little bit. 
Um, it was great emotion, great celebration. Um, I could see uh, maybe um, maybe bringing this in. Man, where are my settings? Where are my settings? This is a new. This is a new. Uh, new computer so i haven't set everything up yet maybe bring this in a little bit or something in there um just get a little tighter to it a little quicker um it's a good little fight picture but i feel like it's a little in between um a little in between for me uh i, I feel like I'm a little lost in what's happening here i think there's probably a better moment of this fight and that is it we got like just a handful of pictures um, and that's the brightness for my monitor if everybody cared. <laughs> so, um, bro, Noah says somebody's sending one. Sick. All right. Let's, let's, let's bang out another one. I'm checking my email, seeing and waiting and checking. Boop, boop, boop. I'm double checking my email to make sure I didn't miss somebody. That would be bad. I'd feel terrible. Um, Um, I know I'm missing people, but that's okay because we're going to have another one of these. Um, but Noah says somebody's uh, repentant for doing that. Oh, John, cool. So somebody asked me a question, so I have something to talk about because that's a thing really quick. Um, Awesome, Matt. I'm glad you guys are getting into this and learning something. I feel like there's like a huge gap in this industry as far as like, you know, like people are really cool, like shout people out or like share things on Instagram. But I mean, like getting into more depth, getting more information is really hard to find, I feel like. Um, so a little background on me. I went to RIT in Rochester, New York. I started at Penn State. I went and worked full time for a while um, and, you know, all that stuff. And then uh, ended up finishing at RIT and uh, graduated in 2012 and started freelancing even in college. And then, um, you know, I've basically been freelance. I did an internship in Flint, Michigan, and then I worked as a Syracuse paper for a little bit. And, um, but I've been basically freelance my whole career, which has gone on like 10 years now, which is crazy. Uh, shoot a lot of NFL, shoot a lot of sports. I'm sure I'll talk about this in another episode, but like when you're coming up, it's really hard outside of like Northern short course and stuff to like meet anybody or like get any input and info. And now we got all this technology and there's all this awesome stuff that's like totally cool. Um, sadly, I just got this streaming stuff. Um, and, you know, it's it's kind of hard to, it's been hard to like kind of coordinate all of this stuff. And now I got two computers, I got my desktop and I got my laptop that I'm streaming from. You kind of need all these things to do this stuff. But now that I have it, I'm hoping to make this kind of a regular thing. Hopefully be able to hang out, be able to share info and uh, help you guys all learn. Um, and maybe we can find some more cool stuff to get into. Um, so, all right, cool. We got uh, we got a website here. We're going to copy and paste this over here. Um, boop, 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 boop. All right, we got Jonah. Uh, number one, get a paid website. <laughs> I hate to be mean, but, like, if you're going to do this as a career, uh, just buck up and pay. Uh, Noah picked on me earlier, but like Squarespace is great. That's what I use. Photoshop is great. Um, uh, if you guys aren't already decided on something, uh, you know, one thing you want to look into is SEO, search engine optimization. You want to have a platform that is going to be really conducive to search engine optimization so that people can actually find you. Um, that's like the number one thing with a website or portfolio is if nobody can find it, uh, you're screwed. So that's another great reason to have those captions in there. A great reason to have a blog on your website because it's going to drive search queries to your website, which will help people find you. Um, also being a member of stuff like MPPA or ASMP or I don't know, anything that lists your name and links to your website is going to help out a lot too because it's, again, going to point back to your website and give the web more places that it's pointing to. Uh, so it's always going to be helpful. Um, it sucks paying for a website. Um, a really great way would be through WordPress. Uh, you pay just for like some storage and by WordPress. WordPress is awesome for search engine optimization, but it's a little bit like manual. You kind of got to go in and do all the stuff manually, which sucks. Um, so give or take, I, when I had that thought, I used to get a lot of cold call emails about jobs and, you know, 
maybe I should still be on there. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so that's my initial thought. Um, I hate seeing like somebody else's brand, but you guys are in college. It's okay. I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for what you should be looking at in the future. Don't worry about it now. If you're a student, freshman, sophomore, whatever, when you get to that junior, senior level, you probably want to start spending a little bit of money on this, save up some money from a job or get a part-time job. And like, it's going to, it's going to go a long way. People aren't going to get like turned off by seeing a Wix website or something. Um, but it'll be something that then they don't have to think about. So, um, cool. So we got a homepage. I said this earlier, Jonah, but, um, I, I just want to get into it. I want to go right to it, but you got nice, easy navigation. Uh, so let's get right into these portraits. Um, got nice, clean light. We got, this is, let me figure out, just figure out how I'm navigate here. Um, so we got a lot of on-campus graduation photos. It's a great way to make some money while you're in college. Um, I'm jealous that anyone is eating from the Penn State Creamery because that's the best ice cream on planet Earth. Um, don't at me. Uh, these are great little portraits of graduation. Um, you know that that this Atherton one um, is very clean. I like how it's squared up. Um, it's good. Good seeing. These are all these are all great though. I mean, these are all nice little kind of family portraits. Oh, okay, cool. I can do this way. All right. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Learning how to navigate all these websites as I go. Um, so these are all good. Um, we'll get through the rest of your portfolio, but I, I'll probably have some thoughts on this. Um, let's, let's skip the story for right now. Let's go right to football because I love football and I miss football. These are it's a good pursuit photo. It's a little tight on the bottom, making sure you guys can see everything. A little tight on the bottom, a um, little tilted, but not, nothing, not too bad. Um, good photo of him. Um, this quarterback one, um, oh shoot, sorry, went too far. Go back. Um, so this is a great example of why I like a paid website sometimes makes life a little easier. Um, so this uh, quarterback one, great, good emotion, nice tight photo. Nice clean background. Um, yeah, I got no complaints on that one at all. Um, this is like the Penn State arrival one, man. I never, I've shot this like a bunch of times. I don't have a good answer on to like how to shoot it. Um, kind of is what it is, but uh, nice. I hope these are showing up as clean as they are. If you have any questions on like how these are toned, um, really hope you guys are checking these out on your own. This is a nice clean football photo too. That coach in the background kind of kills it a bit, but the face down. Um, you know, it's, it's, again, you, you wrap around in front a little bit more and you get that cleaner background. I like these looking at us, those coaches are a little bit distracting, but it's, it's clean enough. Um, nice, uh, dejection photo with the ref back there. It's feeling a little extra cropped. Um, but good moment. That's what you want. Um, fisheye photos. I'm not a fan of fisheye photos. I own this lens. I use this lens. Assuming it's an eight to fifteen or something, um, but it's a good way. It's a different photo. It's it's a photo that would run. Um, it's yeah. It's a good way of seeing it. Um, I'm just like not a fisheye person, um, but they do run. And it's sports. It's not like it's a you know a news story. Um, coaches meeting. It's good. Yeah, you know, it's a good coach photo. It's a little bright. It's a little a uh, little hot, as we would say. Um, so you bring it down a little bit, um, but like kind of good getting in there, showing the huddle. I kind of almost want it a little bit wider because the, the foreground elements aren't really adding to this photo. There's kind of like distractions um, more so than like adding to this shape of people. Um, nice clean action on this quarterback getting hit. Um, sack photo. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, nice juvie here. Uh, this has This has a lot of like, Extra. I don't know if I need this on the left. I might think this might be a better um, vertical. Uh, so something, uh, something like that might be might make a little more sense. Be a little cleaner. Um, but again, that's kind of gets into opinion. I feel like this left side's kind of falling flat compared to how good that right side is. Uh, nice little tackle shot. Again, the guy in the background's kind of a little, a little bit in the way, um, but not bad. Good celebration here. You got a little bit like uh, maybe some stuff on the lens or something. Um, you can you can use the dehaze slider a little bit in Lightroom to kind of take a little bit of that, um, or or you can just pull your pull your exposure down a little bit to help. But you, know, you can't really get rid of it. Looks like you know 
some stuff happens, especially in the summer, you get sunscreen or something on the lens, but just something to be aware of. It's a nice pursuit photo of this guy. Um, it's a little bit too early, maybe um, just a hair too early. Um, but again, nice clean background. You're good and low. Uh, you know that look, making that stadium look better than it does. So that's good. Uh, this running back photos, nice and clean. You know he's fending them off. Again, you know you got you got these like stacked up people there, and that's not going to be as clean and nice. Like in a perfect world, it would just be those two isolated on the field. Um, but still, uh, a good step in the right direction. Um, and yeah, looks. Pretty good. Good good moment. Nice light. I like how the light there like bounces off one side, then bounces back into the faces. It's always really nice. Um, this is a little too much, the, the fan one. This is like, we're kind of too in there. I don't have enough context. It feels kind of, I won't use the word I'm thinking, but like, um, like it, it, just, it doesn't have the vibe of what you're trying to go for. Like this should be like a big happy moment. And, um, you know, I might see if I can fix this color on here. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a little bit, um, yeah, who knows, like trying to make the pictures look a little less cropped or colored. But anyways, um, I, I know what you're going for, it. I know the hand's big, but it's not, it's not coming off of that. It looks like, it looks like coach Franklin's like posing on this kid rather than like this joyous moment. Um, so this is more what I'm talking about with those, those clean running, you know, straight down the field. That's nice, super clean. Um, that's definitely more in the vibe of what you want on those those uh, impact players pictures. Um, this is great emotion on this last one. Um, <laughs> yeah, this dude's stoked. Um, I might put in there what happened to his hand if you could in the caption. That's always going to help. Um, but nice, nice clean frame. Um, hop through hockey quick. I'm not a huge hockey photographer, sadly, as much as I wish I was. Um, what was that? Oh, the penguins. Um, you definitely want to work on your technical stuff. You know, you guys are shooting in the same stadium over and over, the cool Ice Arena or whatever. Um, you know, nail nail in your technical stuff. If you're going to work in a stadium over and over, um, you definitely want to just make sure, like, your technical stuff for that stadium is perfect. Like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to go through your photos and see one's a little green, one's a little pink. Um, build a color profile. Um, just build, just build a preset. Do do whatever you know, like just dial in what you need to have to make sure that this all, so it looks the same across your whole portfolio. It's basically the uh, short version of that. Um, these are all around pretty good. You're just running into technical issues um, before I get to the photos, you know, so some are kind of gray, some are kind of nice, some are kind of yellow, some are kind of green. Um, I like this moment with the women's team, um, you know, with the, uh, with the fan there. Um, this, excuse me, this one on the left, not as much as one in the middle. Um, and again, again, like stuff like this is, uh, oh, never mind. I missed the thing. Was like, uh, these are all like good ish. Uh, there's just a lot of technical flaws, which kind of stinks compared to how good your football photos look. Um, but like this one with the emotions, nice. Uh, this one before the face off would be a good one. Um, punch ones pretty good. Um, Got a bunch of pretty goods in here, you know? Um, the Sabre one's a little better. Um, and that first one's pretty good too. Um, it's just like the technical stuff kind of gets in the way sometimes on stuff like this. And um, I think there's like too many technical issues to like look past them on that portfolio of stuff. Um, I forget that like volleyball is a thing at Penn State, but it is. Um, I love a fan interaction photo, uh, the hand cropped doesn't bug me too much, but it feels like it's a little bit cropped, but that's fun. It's good. Um, this second one, it feels a little too loose, maybe. Um, we don't have the eyes, which is a bummer, but maybe you come in um, like that, and, you know, we just get, like, that kind of look, um, just because uh, this person's not really interacting as much and uh, doesn't really add a ton, in my opinion. Um Nice huddle photo. Um, I think like there's there's a there's I've said it a few times during the night, but like there's there's sometimes there's photos that are like good and you want to show them off and like a newspaper or a daily assignment, um, but then they don't really land in your portfolio as much. And something like a huddle like kind of feels like it should be. That's kind of like something I, I probably wouldn't put in my portfolio unless I was working on a story like on the team and it was like about 
so and so from the team and how they finally felt like they had a family or uh, you know a part of a team or something like that, then then that would be different. Um, but in a straight sports portfolio, not as much. Um, the serve photo is kind of neat. Um, I like the ponytail stuff. I like that you're looking at it differently. Um, kind of kind of feels like an almost, but I, I keep working that. I think that's kind of fun. And I think it's kind of different. Um, this one's out for me. This would be out for me. Um, both these juvie ones. This one kind of feels canned. Just kind of looking at the camera. Um, and this action photo, it's okay. It's good enough. It's good. Uh, still a student, so it's good. But um, it's not as it's not as good as it could be. Um, but solid. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. It feels like maybe you're trying to fit stuff in to fill out the portfolio. Um, cross is a wild sport. So on the second, this first one's kind of like a celebration. I don't have a problem with that one. It feels a little bit weird. I don't know how I would fix it though. It feels like they're getting in a fight more than they're celebrating. Um, but lacrosse players are kind of wild, so maybe they are. Uh, that second one, the feet are cut off. Um, you know, you just need a little bit more space or you need to crop in tighter, one of the two. Um, but if you're going to crop in, then this guy on the left kind of gets in the way. Uh, that one's great, man. That the emotion post game, you know, getting eliminated. That's awesome. Like that, that's solid. Uh, this second one's pretty good too. It's nice. You know, the ball up in the air. It stinks that like the ball is either like this horrible orange or this white that's hard to see. Um, this next one feels a little messy. Um, I probably, I don't know about that one as much. Um, so this is another thing we talked about earlier. So like you get a portfolio, you're building stuff all together and you kind of start weighing out these like levels of awesomeness basically you have going on. And um, like, so this would be a great example of that. Like this uh, middle one with the celebration is like, or dejection rather, is totally lame <laughs> compared to how good this one of the faces is. Uh, and then, you know, like this stuff over here is good too. You know, fans are stoked. Um, again, we get back to those technical issues. Like this is a little yellow, a little orange. Um, you know, you're in college, just hammer that stuff out. Like just, you know, learn how to do it right. Um, this one with the two, it feels a little off too. Um, this one's pretty good. The guy's lined up, charged up. I like, I can see the face. I get the emotion. Um, this is better. This is a good dejection photo. This one with the, with his daughters. This is um, that's a lot more of a feeling, a lot more of what we understand. Uh, this is a pretty clean photo of a player, but again, like portfolio, I don't know um, as much. Uh, I love this celebration photo, but um, we want to have we want to get those faces in there. Um, so you know, that's 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 a little better. Um, this is a nice challenge. It could be cleaner. Uh, this one with the referees. Pretty good again the moment kind of supersede some things it's a little tilted though so maybe try to like just straighten that up and get your horizon right um i like that we are penn state i like it um it's pretty good it's pretty good i don't i don't have a firm critique of what i would do different i think the moment could be better or maybe it's just super you get really low um and you know put that across the bottom as someone's like running in you know you like lay down on the field maybe i don't know if it would work out but um these guys with the trophy, that's that, that's cool. I, I feel like these are kind of canned. So I don't, again, I don't know if they'd fall into a portfolio, but, um, you know, again, if you're telling a story about this long championship thing, you know, things get changed. Um, other, okay. Um, that wrestling photo is wild. You caught a flash or something. Um, composition kind of sucks on this one, though. Uh, I like the light. I like cool stuff like that. Um, but the composition is kind of rough, so I don't know, um, especially the bottom half of the frame. Um, if, even if it was just lower and you're looking up and you got just this clean, like, uh, just like from the shins up, but you had the top of their heads, that'd be pretty rad. Um, baseball photo is kind of an almost. We don't have his face. Um, we do have the ball. We see the drop play, but feels like a feels like something you found afterwards rather than something you tried to make. Um, wrestling photo is pretty good. Um, I don't like those leans, like just straighten that out and just, you know, maybe come in and like hide this dude on the top space. Uh, so we just see that negative emotion. Um, this wrestling photo is a lot cleaner. I mean, that we have all the feet, we have everything, we got the ref leaning in. Um, that's, that's significantly better. This basketball photo is lame. Take that out. Um, this one's okay. It 
feels like we're focused on the back of his jersey, though, and I don't know if that's where we really want to be focused. And, uh, yeah, I think this is, like, maybe a miss. Um, this wrestling photo is not as good as this other wrestling photo. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'd take that one out. Um, this basketball photo is, like, okay, too. This wrestling photo is good. Like, that's that's the kind of stuff that's cool, man. Like, right in there. Got those faces nice and tight. Um, you got that emotion. You got those eyeballs nice and open. Like, that's what you want. You got to see that. Like, that's the kind of stuff you should be aiming for with a sport like that. Um, and then the one, I can't scroll over any further. But, like, and then the next one next to it, same idea. But, again, like, straighten that out. Like, the horizon, like, he's not going down a hill. Like, you don't want that going on. Um but like, you know, that that's what you want. That peak emotion. We got the dejection of the Penn State wrestler. Um, you know, there's like somebody who said that like sports photography is like two things or three things, peak action, sense of place, and emotion. And if you got one or one or all of those three things, then you probably got a pretty good sports photo. Um sports photo story. Um let's rip through it quick. So 10 year old. All right. We got a kid um, who's part of the team. Those are fun little moments. So, this <laughs> it's awesome with a chocolate bar. Um, so, there's some good ones in here. Um, and there's some that feel repetitive. Like, it's a lot about Gavin, but maybe the story is not Gavin, but it's about Gavin's family. Like, I'm sure this means a lot to his family because he's 10 and he has a, um, well, I'm not going to find it right now. But anyways, Gavin's 10 years old. His parents are probably benefiting from this just as much as Gavin is. So maybe there's a photo of his parents or, um, you know, something like that. I like that you show the layout at the end. That's always, like, kind of cool to see what the editor thought was cool um, for the Daily Collegians. That's really neat. Um, especially since, you know, you guys have one of the only daily papers, I think, still. Um, or if it is still daily. Uh, which is kind of neat to see, like, the layout of something like that. And in this in this, in this this package, it's got a little bit more variety. There's a little less to find. Um, on a website, it's kind of good to add a little bit more than what somebody would have found when they initially found the article. Um, so, But sometimes you add a little too much. Like, sometimes you're like, ah, yeah, like, look at these extra pictures. But then you end up uh, adding something that maybe isn't as strong. Um, so there's some good ones in here. Um, I don't see anything that's really bad per se. I won't. I, I wouldn't act like that. But like this photo of him being wheeled across at the front of the line, maybe, um, yeah, leads the handshake line. Like that really tells a story. Like this kid is so important that he is leading the handshake line. Um, I love this detail of the helmet. That is sweet to have in a photo story like this. You know, again, these guys are putting him on their back. Um, that like says a lot, you know, like look at the two things around the back of that helmet, American flag and Gavin. That's cool. Uh, so that's pretty special coach with him. Great. I like the Hershey bars photo. I don't know if it fits in as much to the photo story. Um, I like that with the coach, um, with this thing, with him listening to the coach in a post game speech, I think you go to the other side of the room and you show Gavin in the middle of this circle of all these uh, amazing athletes, you know, we got this little 10 year old kid. Um, this one, the group photo over here on the right is kind of, uh, um, the portrait, I don't think we need it. You know, I think there's so many other good moments. Um, you know, so yeah. Yeah. So good little story. Um, I think you just kind of want to make sure you're editing it down to what really needs to be there, so to speak. Um, events. We got some thon probably. Yep, we got thon. Nice clean thon frame. Uh, this is a nice one of the college game day guys. Um, oh, the Eagles Super Bowl, man. I must have been nuts at Penn State. Matt, I see your question. I'll get to it just one second. I like this thon picture even better. Uh, nice showing everybody dancing, silhouetted. We get a sense of what's going on. Um, college game day photo. Nah, who cares? Uh, thon for. Nah. Uh, more of them. Nah. This is that's 100% out. Um, I don't know about that one either. Uh, no, on that. That's okay. I think the other ones are better. Um, 
try to find like if you're working on a college campus, uh, which a lot of people are, and you're trying to find photos, you're gonna find something that's like a little bit more. <laughs> Almost kind of hit in the face with the fireworks. There's a picture. Um, hope I'm not like lagging. It looks a little weird on my screen, but um, you wanna find something a bit more interesting. Find variety. Uh, maybe people are overcoming things. You know, I went to RIT. There's a lot of like ASL and like uh, deaf students there. So we had like things with talking with hands or visual. Um, you know. Not that it is always the most interesting stuff. Um, and also, like, you don't have to stay on campus. Like, just go see what's happening in State College. Or maybe there's stuff you can take the bus to um, and find other things. I know this is a Penn State portfolio, and I'm being critical of this. But, like, a lot of college students get, like, really into the college life stuff. And sometimes it's like you're, you're shooting stuff because you're, like, have to shoot that stuff. And maybe it's not doesn't mean it's the most interesting pictures. Um, but like, for instance, when it comes to that Eagles win, um, the other ones are kind of lame. And then like this one with the American flags, like pretty good, you know? Um, I wish it had a different background, but like it's it's in, it's more in the right direction. Um, concerts, I'll rip through because I shoot them. Uh, concert photography has to be like really special to really be something good. Thomas Rhett's awful, so um, I'm kidding. I just don't like his music. He's a nice guy, I've met him. Um, but uh, like the Queen Blue, like this is something different. It's got some nice color. You got the backlight. You got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and that Thomas Rep photo is really good. I like that. Um, uh, I like how it's, you know, I totally get the sense. He's nice. He's isolated by that, um, uh, you know, depth of field, stuff like that. Um, it's just like concert photography has to be like real special to stand out in the world of concert uh, photography. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I shoot concerts for money, but I, I'm not super into it. So I'm not the best judge. Um, but I know like whatever you're doing, um, you got to find something that's really different than what everyone else is doing. A lot of people to shoot from the pit or you're shooting from the soundboard, um, find a way to get way up top or maybe really low, or you set a remote camera or something crazy. Um, let's go through the other, other. Got some nice uh, graphics or graphic kind of like illustration photos. It's a nice clean photo, old main. Um, good feature hunting stuff. Um, yeah, just some like featurey stuff here, having fun. Um, Oculus. So it's kind of good to have like a catch all spot like this in a portfolio in a way. Um, but. Um, So yeah, let's go. So really quick, this is the portraits. So here's something I would say to you, and I see it in a lot of student portfolios, is um, you you kind of got to pick what you're showing your website for. If you're showing your website to like book XYZ, then you want to aim it towards that. If it's over here on ABC, you want to aim it towards that. The problem is that everybody kind of, when you're coming out of college, you're kind of like, well, I want to make money doing these grad portraits, but I also want to get a job at a newspaper. And like my simplest advice is split them up. Like, you know what I mean? If you're gonna do weddings and stuff in the summer, make a wedding page. And if you're gonna do news and stuff for a career, then make a news page or whatever. Like, don't go splitting like, I'm a sports person, I'm a news person, like to that level. But like, if you're gonna target like a whole demographic of people over here and then have a 90 degree turn and be over there, um, just split those things up and just make them in different sites. I feel like people get kind of confused when they're like, is he doing family portraits or is he shooting football? Or like, what do they do? Um, now again, if you're in a staff job or something like that, these things don't apply as much, you know, you can kind of do whatever you want basically, but when you're young or you're freelance or independent, um, you definitely want to be able to kind of, you want to kind of hone in and like tell people like, this is what I do. This is why you should hire me for what I do. And this is how you hire me for what I'm doing. Um, a lot of young people though, just kind of like dump everything on there. Like, ah, oh, if they see all of this stuff, they'll eventually get stoked and hire me. It's usually not the case. Usually people just get confused and they're like, well, I don't know what happened here, but I need all this. Like, I'm trying to figure out all this stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So question down here, Matt, if you have photos from a game when you cover every other game, how many would you put on average on your game page? Um, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer. So he's asking is if you have photos from a game when you cover every game, how many would you put on average on your game pages? Um, I, again, I can kind of, Bring up my site. Oh, and if we want to find Jonah, Jonah is, how do I get to Jonah? 
Can I pull it up? Rosen.photo. That's how we're going to find Jonah. Uh, if you want to give him a follow, that'd be awesome. Um, so I have, I, I kind of, so on my website, what I do is I have my stills, I have my video projects, which is a lot more advertising stuff. Um, I have my about section where people can find me. They found out who I work for. And I link to like some stories I've worked on. Um, and then I have a blog. Um, I, I personally find a blog is a great way to not only drive traffic to your website, but also kind of show off a little bit more than what maybe would fit in a portfolio, but stuff you still want to, you know, show. Um, so again, for instance, with mine, um, you know, here I got like a little story that if you want to read about everything that went through, um, you can kind of get that whole, whole idea. Um, I got a handful of pictures I really liked from covering this situation um, with some basic captions. Uh, and people who stumble on it could kind of figure out what's going on, you know? Um, so you kind of get a sense of things. Uh, sometimes I watermark, sometimes I don't. <laughs> uh, but a blog's a great way to kind of show off something you cover a lot, you know? So you can kind of like, you know, oh, I got this game and I got this game and I got this game, you know? And it's also a good way to find like little personal projects. Like this was, a, you know, this, this motocross thing was just like a race I went to with my friend and I just took a 5D with me and a little kit lens. Um, and then when it comes to like a portfolio for something like I got a, I got a portfolio of football that I didn't update this last year. Um, but you know, I, I, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer as to how many you put from a particular game. I kind of, I feel like I'm really conscious of that too. Like I'm like, ah, I got too many Steelers bills pictures. Like I got to go to like Steelers, you know, Panthers or something. I don't know if anybody really notices that. I would say you probably like, if you have a lot of one, type of thing, then you're probably going to feel like, oh, like, ooh, I got a lot of that. I got a lot of Cam Newton. I got a lot of, you know, this dude that plays for this team. Um, you always want to kind of have variety. Um, but if it was, if I had to decide between two good pictures from the same game or one good picture from a good game, but then picking a different game or a different thing just for the sake of variety, uh, that would be, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I would just err on the side of good pictures. Um, but it doesn't, but you know, it's not really a good answer, I guess, <laughs> but, um, I wouldn't worry about too much is basically my short version of this. Um, but I would try to get some variety. The big thing is always to have really great stuff, but always leave people wanting more, not wishing they saw less. Cause I'll tell you what, everybody I've ever talked to in this industry, if they're reviewing a portfolio, looking to hire someone, what they're doing, especially especially when they're looking to hire interns or looking to hire someone, they're looking to find the picture that says there's something I should worry about. And they're looking to find that picture and then pull you out of the running. That's what they're looking to do basically. Um, so if you're, if you, if you do, if you do have something like in there that could detract, it's going to do more damage than if you have um, too few pictures or not enough pictures or something like that. Um, so I hope that answers the question, Matt. I, I don't know. Maybe I stumbled through that a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I think we covered a ton of ground, you know, a lot of great portfolios. If you're watching this, um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't get any money. I don't even have a thousand subscribers yet, which is what you need to get money off your YouTube, which I'm nowhere near. Um, but I would really love it if you subscribe because, uh, right now I'm just doing this out of the goodness of my heart. Um, but follow me on Instagram. I'm over on Instagram at Brett in real life. Um, I'm on YouTube at YouTube, Brett Carlson. Um, I don't know what else. I got a podcast. If you want to listen to a podcast. Uh, oh, cool. Um, cool, Matt. Awesome. I'm glad it helped, man. Uh, I'm really glad because yeah, I'm kind of rambling and jiving at this point. There's no script here. <laughs> I just I just talk for two hours straight now with no drink of water. Um, but uh, yeah, I got a new podcast out, uh, Reciprocity Podcast. If you haven't listened to that, we talk. Um, it's me and I talk to other professionals. We do these really long, like hour, hour and a half conversations. And the idea behind it is to basically um, really dive into what people, like how they got to where they're going, um, trying to find really diverse backgrounds and different careers and different, just different people in general. So we can like get a lot of answers solved. So who, wherever you're from, wherever you're going through, hopefully someone will have a similar story that you can learn a lot from. Um, again, that's Reciprocity Podcast. And you can get it on iTunes or wherever. Um, and there's also a Patreon level to that. So if you want to, we go into like more tech and more in depth with certain people. And then my buddy Zach and I um, chat it up and chop it up um, and on there. And we, we, you know, like this week we talked about the Canon R5 and I did another one with um, a dude named Rick Ozentoski. And we talked about uh, like 
filing photos and stuff like with Wi-Fi and things like that. Um, thank you, Jacob. It means a lot, dude. I, I like don't know if anybody loves it or not. A few people said it's cool. And I know like one editor that listens to it every week. He's like, yeah, I take walks on Tuesday and I listen to your podcast. So, um, so yeah, um, I, I'm happy to answer any questions. If everybody has them, but I'm not seeing anybody popping in, but I'll give it another second. Uh, so yeah, so the idea here, while somebody maybe types a question, um, the idea is to hopefully do this uh, more than once. So now that I have this equipment, and I will hopefully learn it better before next time, um, the idea is that I can do this more often. We can kind of figure some more things out, talk about more stuff, uh, hoping to live stream some edits and stuff like that. I got a lot of, I got, I got this new computer and I want to use it to edit this big uh, portfolio piece I was looking at. So um, for video, so hoping to maybe stream that a bit. Um, but I'm very open to suggestions. I'm very open to like what people want to learn, what they want to do and hopefully get people stoked on stuff and teach. I mean, that's, I was a TA in school, uh, before I went back to school, I taught a lot of people stuff on the computer world. I worked as like an IT tech kind of person. Um, so I just love teaching people, love sharing information and, um, yeah, I know a lot of people want to learn this stuff. So stoked to help. Um, but I'm not seeing any questions drop in. I think it's time for me to go get some dinner um and get a drink of water <laughs> so i can hopefully recover my throat before i go work tomorrow um but thank you so much for watching i know it wasn't a ton of people on here but i'm really stoked for the people that did come and check it out um feel free to share this as far as i know it'll be live on my youtube channel it's my first time doing the whole live thing um and you know tell people i'm hoping to find a time that works for everybody sadly today it was just based around a job so i kind of just threw it in at friday night and figured maybe people would check it out. But if you want to share it with other people, that'd be awesome. Um, really, really appreciate all you and uh, hope you have a awesome night. Thanks so much for watching.